Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo and today I want to share with you guys my experiences with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and also the Galaxy Flip 3. Now, I will not be showing the phones in today's video. I don't want to show off images of it. don't want to show off screenshots of the, the, the software or operating system or anything like that. Even though it comes with Samsung One UI 3.1.1, I just want to let you guys know my experiences after using the phones. So as of the, the moment this video gets posted online, which is going to be August 10th, this is the last day to register to sign up for pre-orders of the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So if you click the link below the video inside the description, it'll take you to the reserve page where you can save additional and extra exclusive offers on the phone. And also you don't only have to trade in one phone. If you have two phones and you couldn't decide which one to send in, you can actually send and trade in two devices for one of those Galaxy Z Fold 3s just because, you know, it's not the cheapest of phones uh, and it allows you to get the phone price down just a little bit. So Samsung, if you're watching today's video, please throw me on a list of creators who get the phones early and make me sign an NDA so this way I don't share anything early. Uh, and also this channel is mostly dedicated. Almost the full entire 100 million views this channel has uh, is basically all dedicated to Samsung content. So. I'd appreciate if I could be thrown on that list uh, and make me sign an NDA because I would be more than happy and willing to do so. So my experience with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 will be first and then the Flip 3 right after that. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate this early information, some of these updates, some unreleased content that hasn't already been online somewhere, or if you like tips, tricks, tutorials on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now, again, to pre-register, to pre-order for this phone, the link will be below the video because today is the last day because the following day, August 11th, is the press release. So first off, for the Galaxy Z Fold 3, one of the main things that I was hoping would change when it comes down to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. So this is the Z Fold 2 right here. You can see it's the older camera module. One of the things that was uh, a little annoying with this is that it was too heavy. So the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is slightly lighter. So it's lighter by 10 grams. Or if you wanted to compare the two, the Z Fold 2 is 10 ounces. The Z Fold 3 is 9.6 ounces. So that small little change of weight does help especially when you're holding on to something with your hands and your fingers. And it could be for an extended amount of time, maybe an hour, maybe two hours. If you're traveling, listening to music, watching a movie, reading some articles, things like that. So it is a little bit lighter, which is amazing. Uh, then for number two, the prominent uh, power button. So there's actually more of a press and it's not as flush. So, I, so all of this is all raw. Playing with the phones, writing it down, this is raw details, images, and things that kind of came to mind. So when it comes down to the Z Fold 2, um, this button over here, the power button, which is also your fingerprint reader as well, same thing with the Z Fold 3. This one was this one is flush, so it's flush with the phone and it was kind of annoying. I wish it was more of a button, kind of like these volume buttons up here. So you will notice with the Galaxy Z Fold 3, it is a more prominent power button. It's something that can actually be pushed in and clicked and it's not gonna be as flush with the phone. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to find and maybe for reasons for cases and things like that. Um, and I wrote down about 14 things for the Z Fold 3, just so you guys know. So number three, uh, it has larger speaker grills on the top and the bottom. So on the top and the bottom of the Z Fold 2, when you look at it, uh, there's actually eight of those little grills, eight little slices, eight little holes. Uh, the Z Fold 3 has 10. So your grills on the top and bottom is going to be just a little bit longer than this, even though it doesn't change anything. Uh, the audio was the exact same. So it wasn't any louder with a larger grill. It just looks different and maybe it looks cooler. Uh, this the, the SIM card has been moved from the bottom to the top, so it is on the side. So it's on the Z Fold 2, it's on the side right here. So instead of it being on the bottom, it is now just kind of towards the top. Really, uh, that one wasn't a big change, but still something to, uh, to notice. Now, the biggest thing we'll be dealing with the camera and also the S Pen. So when it comes down to the camera, what happens is when the screen is off, you'll definitely still be able to see it. So you're gonna see the camera, um, you know, on a regular, on a regular display like this. But when you go into settings, when you go into applications, when you go into the camera, it all gets filled up. So when you're using an application, uh, or if you go into the settings, you're going to notice that there's kind of just a layer of pixels on top of the camera. So it is a under display camera, which is why the quality of that camera will go down. 
but when it comes down to that camera, nobody really uses it for selfies anyways. When you take pictures, you're probably using your front, the main closed cover camera, or you're using cameras on the back. Uh, if you're taking pictures with it open, taking selfies, you might not be using that as much, but you might be using it for Zoom and video calls, and the quality for that is gonna be perfectly fine uh, for what you're gonna use it for. So again, it does fill in, and you're not gonna really notice it. So the only way I can explain this camera when you flip it open is it's a layer or a blanket of pixels on top that fills in what is supposed to be there, which is pretty cool. There's nothing missing in that little cutout. Now, the other thing I also want to make, uh, you know, mention was that, you know, originally when we got phones that had these, the Infinity O display, we're looking at phones that had a little hole in it. Uh, we would say, oh, that's going to get in the way of our viewing. And then after you get used to it, it actually disappears. So it's kind of like with a Z Fold 3, it's like makeup. Makeup is covered on it. You're never going to know it's there unless if you specifically look at that camera hole, then you'll be able to notice it and you can see that the color is a little different. Uh, it's, it is filled in for sure. You can see it. It's kind of like makeup again. So you'll notice it's there. But when you actually use the device, it really disappears. So if you use the device now with a camera hole, you know, punch, uh, then if it disappears as you use it, it's going to disappear even more because there is now a layer of pixels on top of it, basically making it disappear unless if you look at it. So I hope that that made sense. That's the best way I can really explain it. And it's gonna be really funny watching it on cameras. So if you, when you watch videos of the Z Fold 3 and the phone is going to be open, you're going to see this hole fill in with different colors. It's gonna completely change depending on the lights and pixels and things like that. So when you see YouTube videos of this thing, you're gonna really definitely see that camera there. Um, but in real life, it's not, it's not gonna be that prominent to view. So the camera was a pretty big one to kind of talk about. And I kind of feel like it's a little bit bigger as well. Number six is gonna be the camera module updated. So obviously it's not gonna be this rectangle look anymore. Uh, it's gonna be that stop sign, literally just those three little sensors right there and it's everything that you've seen online samsung's already posted images and advertising and banners of the two devices so that is there for you to view uh, again another reason why i'm not going to show it off in, in in the video and then heading right back over into that inner camera as well so we mentioned that the quality does go down so when you take a picture with the z fold 2 uh, let's say you take a picture with it and it might be like 1.49 megabytes uh, when you take a picture of the Z Fold 3, it's going to be literally cut in half of that, which is why a lot of people are mentioning that that camera quality is not that great. And it's because there's a layer on top of it of pixels. And so, again, you're going to mostly use that one for video calls, video chats, you know, things like that. Now, number eight that I have written down here is talking about the screen layout uh, works on more screens and more applications. And what that means is that when you go into the settings for the screen layout in Zoom, you can see that the one that I have selected over here has it kind of split. So left side, you know, could be the whole settings. The, the other side would actually be that screen for the settings. Or let's say for messages, it's going to show all the conversations that you have. Um, but on the other side will be the actual conversation of whichever one you went into. So on the Z Fold 3 or more than likely the Samsung One UI 3.1.1, it's going to be more, you know, there'll be more screens, more settings, more applications set for that um, to actually be in use. Number nine is One UI 3.1.1. I've already mentioned that. That's going to be coming out of the box. The tenth thing that I have written down here is called Protect Battery. So inside of battery settings, it gives you the ability to help extend your battery life of your phone. So if you're getting a phone that's over $2,000 or around $2,000 or $1,900, $1,800, whatever it may be, you may want to hold on to that phone as long as you can. So Protect Battery just means that it's able to extend the battery life because it limits the max charge to 85%. Now, uh, it'll charge up to 85, it's gonna stop, but then you can unplug and things like that. So if you don't really care about that, you can just have that setting turned off and it's gonna go all the way up to 100. Now, another small thing, but again, these are all things of use cases, things that I notice from day-to-day -day use. Another thing will be the edge panel. It seems to be thinner and closer to the edge. So when you look at the edge panel, so when you look at the edge panel here, you can see that it is a, a small distance from the edge and it's very thick and it's very wide. When it comes down to the Z Fold 3 or Samsung One UI 3.1.1, it's, it's thinner and closer to the edge. Uh, number 12, um, it has, you know, there's options for matte, like matte black, uh, much better than glossy. You can tell on the back of my phone here, it's super glossy, very fingerprinty, not really that cool. So the matte option is gonna be way better. Um, and then when it comes down to 
the 120 hertz these are some big ones here so number 13 number 14 we're talking about the 120 hertz and the s pen so number 13 adaptive motion smoothness on the front and when it's open so if you're looking for 120 hertz refresh rate uh, on the, uh, the the front when it's closed as well as when it's open so as of right now the z fold 2 works with the adaptive smoothness or motion smoothness when it's open but now it works also when it's closed and then the last thing that i want to talk about is is with the with the s pen so when it comes down to the s pen if you try to use an s pen from let's say the galaxy note 20 or the note or the s21 or any other s pen even uh this digital pen that i have over here that i was using for quite a while it will give you an error letting you know that you could damage the screen and you have to use the the samsung s pen pro or the pro s pen that they were talking about before that will be launching should be launching with this phone which is another reason to pre-register for the pre-order so this way you can get those additional exclusive offers to save money because more likely you can either get that s pen pro for free or a really good discount so if you tap on the galaxy z fold 3 with a different s pen other than what you're supposed to use which will be coming with this launch you'll get a notification that says this only use S Pens designed for your Galaxy Fold. Other S Pens will damage the screen. If you're using the S Pen Pro, set it to Z Fold mode before using it on your Fold. So there it is. When it comes down to using an S Pen for the Galaxy Z Fold 3, uh, you have to use the S Pen Pro. And that is it for all of the things for the Z Fold 3. Now when it comes down to the Z Flip 3, there's not that many changes that I've wrote down just because I use the Z Fold 2 so much that I was able to notice all of these things. Um, but the changes for the flip is pretty big versus the Fold. So the Fold will bring in the S Pen support. Really, that's kind of the main thing. Um, but when it comes down to the flip, uh, the cover size is going to be twice the size. So when it's folded up, that little tiny little ribbon of a screen that used to be there is now much larger. It's basically double. And instead of the camera modes being horizontal, they are now vertically set up because they're, that's how big it's able to be. So it's way better to use and you'll actually use that, that cover screen because on the Z Flip, I never used it. But on this one, I think I definitely would because there's more widgets that you can also use, some more options and, and a larger display if you're, if you're showing your camera. So like if I'm taking a picture, I wanna show the cover screen to who I'm taking a picture of, uh, then, you, then they would also be able to see it as well. So it's much bigger, it's much better. Um, there's also an additional mic on the bottom. So there's now three mics on the bottom, not two. So it looks like it's going to have better uh, noise cancellation when you're having phone calls, things like that. Uh, it does come with Samsung Winnie Y 3.1.1. It does have adaptive motion smoothness, so 120 hertz refresh rate, which was not there before. So it is there now on the Z Flip 3. And the biggest one, which was my biggest gripe with the Z Flip 2 that I have, is the speaker so now it is now a stereo speaker with dolby atmos so the biggest issue i had with the flip was when you're watching something it just didn't really sound that great because there's only one firing speaker and it was going away from you now with this one you have your stereo sound coming from next to your ears your earpiece and then also the speaker on the bottom. So it's going to be much better viewing experience if you're listening to music, watching movies. Uh, so that's really the, the biggest thing. So if I was to kind of summarize everything I mentioned and also mention if I would buy this phone or upgrade it if I had the previous generation. So uh, if I, I am a YouTuber here and so I will be getting the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Uh, and that's going to be for, for YouTube content, things like that. If you're somebody who always needs the latest and greatest, go for that upgrade. But if you have the Z Fold 2 and you're happy with it, there's really no reason to get the Galaxy Z Fold 3. That's just my honest opinion. There wasn't much changes other than really the only differences is going to be a pixel layer over the camera that will make it disappear. Kind of like when uh, makeup is being worn, it, it kind of hides a few things. But if you take a really close look, you can still see what you're trying to cover up. So it's covering up the camera and it has S Pen support, but you have to get that S Pen Pro, which also means that you have to carry an S Pen around with you. There's no slot. And so you'll have to also get that, that wallet cover or some case that can hold the S Pen. And then now for the Flip 3, if you have the Flip 2, uh, this one is actually a good enough upgrade to move over just because of 
the stereo sound, also the, the 120 hertz refresh rate, as well as the larger screen on the cover screen. So the Z Flip 3 has the largest and biggest upgrades, in my opinion, but when it comes down to the Fold 3, there's been a lot of advancement when it comes down to the electronic side of it, putting a layer on top of, putting pixels on top of a camera to hide the camera, and then you can still take pictures with it. That's an advancement when it comes down to cell phones and, and technology, and it's gonna get better and better through the years, as well as S Pen support on that type of a folding display. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully my summary of the experience has kind of helped you guys out. Honestly, I didn't really want to go into, you know, the specs of the screen resolution, the camera, the processor, all of that's already online. Uh, also to some of the other experiences like having a better, you know, functional power button, having uh, a larger display is better, talking about the weight of these things, talking about stereo sound, those matter more to me just because I already know Cameras are really good, processors are really fast, and screen resolution already looks really good. But when you throw on that that's that motion smoothness, 120 hertz on the Flip 3, that's a big deal. Stereo speakers on the Flip 3, that's a big deal. Larger covered display on the front, that's a big deal. For the Fold 3, really big advancements inside of the camera range and the display by putting pixels on top of the camera for the under display camera, as well as a S Pen support for a folding device. It's actually really cool. So if you don't own a flipping or folding phone, this is going to be a really good generation for you to start off as. Uh, if you own the if you own the Fold 2, uh, you probably don't need the Fold 3. If you have the Flip 2, you can definitely get the Flip 3 because it's a it's a reasonable upgrade. So that's it. If you guys have not already subscribed, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.